and to this uh, night leaf feeding of strays. The first time round, we, we, uh, we put basins, big basins of food, put on a trolley. When we arrived inside, there was a little clearing and we were a bit surprised because the pouch light showed lots of sparkling eyes. We were so surprised that the strays are actually not vicious at all, like what people say they are. That's why one of our mission is to educate people, especially children who come here for, for our orientation and all. We always tell them, don't always think that the strays are vicious, they are not. In fact, they are very shy and they are very scared of people. So we got the news that the government was going to clear the land to build the aerospace and uh, of course they were going to cull the dogs. So we went to ADA and we said, please you know, allow us to uh, save as many as we can because we are grown, um, so very attached to them. So they gave us two months. But every day we were in there trapping. Every night we were trapping. We trapped about 60, 60 dogs. So, I mean, during that process, we, we really had no choice but to find a space to board them. So from there, we call ourselves always a second chance animal shelter. Yeah, it, it's, it's, a, it, it's a very tough journey. But uh, I would say it's, uh, in a way, it's, it's rewarding because, you know, you really you feel the, the way they greet you, the way they love you, the way they trust you, you know, it's, it's something that makes you so happy and you, you just sort of feel, you know, you're so happy that you've saved so many lives. Well, over the years we have grown, so at the moment actually we have about 130 dogs. We are lucky, um, there are quite a number of people coming to help us. We are also fortunate that SMU recognised us as a, as, as a recognised charity and so a lot of the students come here as well. We have been very comfortable here in Ericsson for about 11 years. But the sad thing is, this whole place, uh, you know, all, all the AWGs, animal welfare groups here, all have to move out of this place because the government is taking back the land. We do need a lot of finance, financial help actually. And, and there are people who are very nice. They, they recognize what we do and that they've been very generous. They do come forward to help us like when we really need money, need help. As a charity uh, with no commercial income, we really need a lot of help.